This bike really does have tons of torque. I'm in like top gear. I'm in top gear going 30 miles an hour at 2,000 RPMs and it just grunts right out of all the corners and the turns and takes me up to speed. What's up guys, Sean here from SRKCycles.com. We have the 2003 BMW R1200 CLC. This is a pretty, it's kind of a rare bike. Now a lot of you guys have been asking me about this because I had it in but I couldn't get it started. And I, I, um, I, I, I called the dealership up and I'm like, hey, what am I doing wrong? They're like, oh no, nothing, nothing. And then I found out that, and I knew this but I forgot, you gotta press the unlock key on this to unlock the system. And then, you, so I, I wasted all this time and and stuff just to uh because i wasn't pressing a button so the bike runs great let's take it for a spin um i'm actually really excited to take it for a spin i want to see what it feels like it does have some scratches right there other than that it looks pretty, pretty good guys let's do words of wisdom real quick i didn't write down a note but i got an interesting real interesting one for you guys this is second samuel 23 where's that point okay and Benaniah, the son of Jehoadiah, the son of a valiant man of Kabzeel, who has done mighty deeds. He slew two sons of, of Ariel of Moab. He went, oh, here's, here's the point I'm talking about. He went down also and slew a lion in the midst of a pit in the time of snow. All right, so this guy, not really a words of wisdom, just more like some awesome Bible stuff. It's a story about a guy, and it's not even a story, that's all they, that's all they mentioned. Um, about a guy who fell into a, who, him and the lion, fell into a pit, in the snow, and he came out and the lion didn't. That's awesome. I mean, really put, really think about that, put that in context, that's some scary stuff. And they, there's no, there's no like guns back then. There's spears, and there's swords that's about it but still you're at the disadvantage with a lion that dude was a badass that's awesome all right guys if you've never driven a bmw with the r motor you really got to they are a lot of fun um and with when i talk about the r motor it's a boxer engine so instead of you know, a V-twin going like this. It's it's like this. Cylinder this way, cylinder this way. And it's got this cool vibration where, you know, it kind of, you rev it up and when you're sitting down, it's just kind of moving. It's, it's fun, it's a lot of fun. I love the way it feels. Um, it has this, like almost, uh, I'm trying to think of how to word it. Almost like an unrefinedness to it. Another thing when you hop on one of these bikes, you notice real quick when you, the big, the, one of the biggest things I notice, and as soon as you grab that front brake, that's an electronically assisted, it's got a little electronic servo, it's an assisted brake. So you get on that brake and you're like, you know, once it starts kicking in, you're like, wow, this, you know, you're barely doing anything. You could, you could do full braking with your pinky and it's just like, wow, that's impressive. And, I, you know, it's, it's a BMW thing. I don't know of any other company that's actually doing that. Everyone else is more just a direct, you know, fully hydraulic uh, braking system. The first bike I ever rode that had that was a uh, BM, uh, earlier BMW K bike. Now, some other people ask me, they say, what's the deal with this bike? Was this before the BMW K G GTL? And it's not. It's a, it's it's a, it's a different family. It's just they're in the same time as that as the BMW um, K bikes were out, and it's just a different flavor. It's like it's like some guys want a big V10, and some guys want a twin turbocharged V6. You know what I mean? Some guys want it. Oh man, here's a better. Here's an even better example. Some guys want a four-stroke dirt bike some guys want a two-stroke you're accomplishing the same thing it's a different flavor it's a different way to get it done 
a lot of guys and I can get it you know it's not it's not as smooth it's a little bit buzzy but I really like it I like that but I like that buzziness and it's not a um I think buzziness is a bad way to describe it it's not like uncomfortable it's not I don't know honestly honestly let's be honest it's kind it's just kind of comforting you know what I mean And those guy and guys who uh, who've ridden these, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I love that feeling, just cruising one of these R bikes on the highway, going top down. Just it's a lot of fun. These things are pretty rare. The uh, the CLCs, I've never seen one. I have seen a I have seen an R1200 C, which is you know no fairing, no this. But there's actually more differences to it than just the fairing. It's not just that bike with foot fairings on top of it, which is my, what, what you think. They kind of, they change the power curve, less horsepower, uh, more torque. It's actually it's actually pretty low horsepower. It's if you look up, uh, I saw a paper where they did they did the dyno sheets on it, and it was like 50 some horsepower, which like dirt bikes, dirt bikes are claiming that much horsepower. Um, but it feels fine, you know. It, I mean, it it gets up and goes, no problem. You got that torque backing it up to move this big beast. So I'll tell you, I'm actually pretty impressed. Um, it is a it's an 1170cc bike, so it's not quite a 1200, but hey, who cares? That's life. Oh, what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, and they also um, they also made these things fuel injected. So normally you would see the, uh, and I don't know. If it, listen, I don't know that much about the C bikes, the uh, the R1200 C. I've had one. I know it was the same bike that they used in James Bond. It's got that. It's got that front um, kind of goofy looking front swing arm set up with the uh, with the shock in the middle. I know there's a big cult following for them. People just love the bikes, and I can I can see why. They handle, they handle very well. They're very, very unique looking. And I gotta say, this is a very comfortable bike. We're gonna jump on the highway. Now, what is that light? I have no idea. It's a, it's a triangle with like an exclamation point. Oh, wait. No, that's not it. I don't know. Don't know what that is. For a bike that has 50 horsepower, I'd say a pool's great. I mean, I had, I, I never would have guessed. Now we got your radio. Change the volume. Do the seek. Now the screen on the radio, I, it's just, I don't know. It's not good. It's a fairly normal thing for that to happen. Now you can kind of scratch that stuff off, but I don't know if that's good or bad on FM FM Come see why it's better at okay. Mechanicsburg Sport Dealer So it works But I'm just I'm not seeing I'm not seeing anything on there. Uh, look at the forums. I don't know how to. I don't know how to fix that. But it does work. Let's turn it off. You'll recognize these on most BMWs. The cruise control over here. The heated grips. They're using that same stuff in the BMWs right now. I think. Shifting is very smooth. Very smooth, very precise. It, it, I'm going 75-ish. It's effortlessly. I'm go I'm at just over 3,000 RPMs. This is cake. 
like this bike was absolutely i mean obviously obviously this bike was absolutely made for this stuff it's creeping up on higher speeds and i still have enough room i i don't see i i, I don't see why you wouldn't be comfortable cruising at 105 miles an hour i'm not saying that it can do it i'm saying you'd be cool you'd be easy it'd be easy you would just be sitting back here very comfortable that lady looks comfortable Guys, if you've never driven the uh, one of the R bikes, R9T or the uh, R1200 GS, you know what I mean? It is a. I could see how. It is. It's like it's very smooth on the highway. I could see how that. Um, you can You know, it's kind of like, hey, I love the engine. I love that platform. Let's see how many other things I can. I can have them with that same thing, you know? You can have your touring bike. You can have your enduro bike. You can have your other type of touring bike. It's just different flavors of the same motor. I love what they've done with it. I like I like when they do that stuff. It makes it makes sense financially for them, which is able to push the cost. To you instead of having a completely different engine for every single bike it's what you know companies like mercedes-benz would, would do a lot of times you know use this they make one engine a lot of companies do this but they make one engine they stick it in a lot of different cars what's you know it makes sense all right guys that wraps it up this bike is sweet these fairings are covering me nice and well i could see how i could not get this would be a great bike for the winter time or the cold weather. That's blocking my hands, that's blocking me, these fairings are blocking me. Um, I feel, it's, it's a hot, it's, I don't know, 75? I feel no heat coming from this bike, not at all. Maybe I haven't ridden it long enough. But I don't feel any heat. I'm 6'2", I feel very comfortable on it my shins are not like touching anything they're not even close to these fairings if i wanted to i can kind of nuggle myself up in there but and when it comes to those brakes how they how they're electronically assisted you almost have to like kind of it, it's a little bit of a learning curve because you're you're, you're thinking oh i gotta give like 80 percent right now but you don't, you gotta give like 40%. And if you give 80%, you're gonna be stopping way faster than what you thought you were gonna be stopping at. So it's definitely a, you know, a little learning curve, but you figure it out real quick because that's what we do. We're motorcycle riders, we gotta figure it out. We gotta get it done. All right guys, that wraps up the test drive. I've had a lot of interest on this bike. If you wanna buy this, uh, check out the the walk around video it is pretty clean except for those scratches up on the front and this bike will not last very long we'll see you guys later check us out srkcycles.com and if you're looking to transport your bike you know the only tie down strap that we use are tank straps you can buy them from our website bikesandbeardsgear.com the link below or you can also do the link below the other link below and just buy them right on amazon if you're a prime member Alright guys, that wraps it up. Remember, it's not what you're riding, but where are you going? We'll see you guys later. I love doing this. I love standing up on these bikes, the pegs and everything, and the handlebars, just they're just perfect. And I feel like I'm flying, or I feel like I'm driving a really fast Segway. This is super cool. I'm probably sitting like, I don't know, seven and a half feet up in the air. Maybe as high as like a tractor trailer driver. Look at that. The beautiful countryside. The Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, baby. I can see my house from here. No, I can't see my house from here.
What's up guys, I'm Sean. Thanks for watching that great video. And as always, click down here to subscribe. And here's the next fun video for you guys to watch. We'll see you guys next time. And that wasn't far enough away. And I also, I had no clue. I'm just gonna tell you guys to back off. Bring your bikes, and listen, I got It's not what you're riding. But where are you going? We will see you guys later. We're pumped.
What's up guys, I'm Sean. Thanks for watching that great video. And as always, click down here to subscribe. And here's the next fun video for you guys to watch. We'll see you guys next time. And that wasn't far enough away. And I also, I had no clue. I'm just gonna tell you guys to back off. Bring your bikes, and listen, I got, it's not what you're riding. But where are you going? We will see you guys later. We're